This question is question in answer with my briefing by Danny Flores. Flores? Flores? I think it's Flores. Like, the link to the video will be the description below. Go in second month. So let's introduce what in three, two, one. Hi besties. So I asked you guys to ask us questions for a little mukbang and just to get to know mukbang. and like the relationship. If it's getting cold, so we're just gonna get right into it. Wings up. We got the tenders from Wingstop. Almost wings. Wings up fast is really good. Yeah. Almost wing. First question is: <laughs> Is everything okay with you? Um. No. Someone asked, when did y'all start talking? July of last year, August of last year. But like talking, talking, December of last year. Because he had found me on TikTok, added me on Snapchat, and we started talking to it. We were talking back and forth, but I never took it seriously because like, bitch, it's long distance. I feel like if you don't know how we met by now, you ain't a true fan. But like, not everybody has been following me since my. I know, I'm just kidding. But I feel like you're all the time. Also, they're the issue. He's saying y'all are the fucking issue. Cancelled? Who's the top and who's the bottom? <laughs> Show that ass. <laughs> so who's the top? Who's the bottom? You know damn well. I don't know. Yes, I mean, he... I know, but they don't know. Oh, you don't know? I know. Uh, I think uh, uh I think um, is uh, is the bottom. Yeah. I I'm thinking is the bottom. Yeah. Oh, but they don't know. Is that a hard question? Hmm. He might be the bottom. If this bag could talk, it would say a lot. <laughs> Anna. True. Especially after this trip. Oh my god. Where mm. was your first kiss and who initiated it? Epoca and me. Yeah, it was Epoca. So Epoca is a, a Latin nightclub here in my hometown. Our hometown, actually. So this goes back to like how we met. I had went to the Doja Cat concert before meeting up with him that night at the club. He had asked me actually the day before. It's like, hey, you should come out to the club. And I was like, no, I'm not I'm not going to be out. I'm just going to a concert. Then we went okay, out, so and then we linked up. What are y'all moving in together? Why are you Next asking question. me? Hey, me, me. Oh, ducky, ducky. Oh, but back Oof. to the moving in question. Um, I think I've, like, at first I was so like, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. I thought about it, and like, financially, I'm not stable enough for that. I think we have to go through more stuff, I feel, before we can, like, say, yeah, let's move in together. Am I wrong or wrong? You're That's wrong. what I feel. So the camera died, and we're resorting to my phone. So shut up. Someone asked that we got a absolutely inside. not exactly how big is it um we are not disclosing sorry two inches someone ew <laughs> favorite position gorge i love how the person used gorge we love adam around here i don't have one yeah you do oh i don't yes you do what is it he likes writing oh my god oh I sure do. There's like a specific angle, but we're gonna move on to the next question. Who made the first move? Him. I would never, I would never, bitch. Even when he was in my DMs, I remember like, almost like leaving him on open, delivered, right? Don't right. make me sound thirsty, because I do the same okay, to you too. Okay, true, yeah. He was start no, you started doing it to me when I did it to you, so it was kind of like mutual. I only did that because I didn't think it would go anywhere. Has Danny painted his <laughs> Wins up fast or the bomb. Yeah. That was really good. Yep. The wins up fast. That was really good. Yeah. He's super clean, actually. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And y'all know that the reason I don't paint is because I am the one who gives you the tips, like on my TikTok and stuff. If you follow that shit, I promise you, you will not shit. You and Buki making a spicy Twitter. Why you? Man? We actually did already take pics or no? But that's for us. There's no spicy Twitter, bitch. What's the best thing you like about each other, and then what do you both do to help the other out when sad? I would never admit this to him, but his fucking little attitude Aww. drives me Aww. insane. I also like it. <laughs> he doesn't like to be comforted, but I force it on him. So listen, I say recent experience. Yeah, that's true. I don't know, it's just hard for me to like, mm, like show emotion. A couple of nights ago, I cried and like he hugged me and I was like, let me go. Like, we, I was drunk by the way and I was like, let me go, let me go. And he was like, nope. that, yeah, like he wasn't letting me go. And I was like, stop. And I was crying. But then I just gave up and I was like, <sighs> and it felt good. It felt good. It felt good to like cry and just be held. So.
Thank you. But my favorite thing about Lorenzo is that he's very patient, <gasps> first of all. Mood? <laughs> <laughs> Babe. I'm gonna charge you a phone cleaning service. Yeah, it's not my fault they're fucking forged some grip like your Oh my gosh. Yeah. So what I like about Lorenzo is his patience. He genuinely shows me love even though I'm not the type to like just like hug you and like just kiss you out of nowhere. Even PDA, I can't do. Yes you can. I can't do. It's he just, can. I, I get really shy. Him. Like even like anywhere we go, he'll just kiss me out of nowhere, grab my hand. A little moment and i just can't do that like i get shy real shy but i do like that because he gets me out of my comfort zone i would say when i'm sad he's always been open to like why am i nervous i'm scared i don't know babe anytime i'm sad you'll always be like tell me what's wrong tell me what's wrong and then, like i'll try to move on from the topic and you'll come back to it even if it's like an hour later like so what's wrong active listener when i'm sad someone said you make the cutest couple also how big is the chile imagine this with like another one on top now we oh. get it to make the twitter post <laughs> someone said who's the bottom it's bottom. okay if you're a bottom you're disgusting oh so you. the bottom is disgusting for me yeah so uh -huh. you think i'm disgusting oh. mm. babe thoughts on open relationships are you guys in one are we against Thoughts, me and my boyfriend are eh and would like to hear others' opinions. Love you guys. I'm not open to an open relationship. I feel like if you're committed to someone, oh. someone you should be committed to only oh. them and inviting other people. To that ruins like, yeah. like the the connection of things. Yeah. <laughs> a little poetry slam. I see people do open relationships and I just don't understand it. I think the part that plays into it is the intimacy. Because what else are you doing with an open relationship? That's like if you love somebody, you're gonna, you won't need, feel the need to be with somebody else or be satisfied with somebody else. What is something you both love doing together other than you know what? <laughs> For me, it's just the day to day activities. Both. I did, I did, I did coffee, laying in bed together, cuddling, watching movies. Watching My favorite, movie. favorite, I think, is the breakfast part. He'll do the cooking, and then I'll just clean dishes or like let me just sit back and look pretty when we have our own house or no. True. Does daddy mind the booty pics on Twitter? Honest yes. response the only reason why I would say it upset me just a little bit is because when you did post them, you were like, obviously when we get together, like if we're official, mm -hmm. I'll delete them and I won't post. And then all of a sudden you started posting again, you know, instead of reacting right away, I just sat back and I'm like, you know what, at the end of the day, the only bet he's in is mine. And I actually recently deleted my spicy Twitter. And I didn't tell him to either. I don't and he did not, no. I didn't say I, nothing. I, I just came out of my thing and I was like, if you had Twitter and you were doing Twitter, I'd want you to stop. What celebrity would you include in a three-way? Please answer separately. You go first. You better be fucking careful with this answer. I don't fucking know, honestly. No, don't lie. I mean, for real. I don't lie. It's because I suck with, like, names of celebrities. Like, when people are like, oh, oh that person's in the movie. Pull out a picture. How am I going to pull out a picture if I don't even know their name look or the, movie? Look up the movie name. Oh. What's Spider-Man's name? Tom Holland. There you go. <laughs> Tom Holland. <laughs> yeah, I would do something about Jacob Elordi. He's just so like. Don't even know who the fuck that is. Nerdy and like, I don't know. I think I would do him. Babe, you took my, you took my napkin a little bit. The fuck? Why didn't you take my buzz ball? Why did you grab my buzz ball without asking me the fuck? That's mine. The fuck? Someone said, "How deep does the chile go inside your peach?" <laughs> just because <sighs> I'll answer that one because he doesn't like it when it goes I don't like it too too I, too I, it's not enjoyable like it's not enjoyable when it's like all up in there because it feels like someone's stabbing you does bottoming feel like you're taking a shit repetitively no but I think that's what's scary about it is that's why you have to like clean out before doing anything because if not something will come out you're always pushing out while it's going in because if not then it's gonna hurt was high school rough i'm gonna be a freshman next year i was rough in high school shit i'll be honest for me i didn't even try i moved out kind of at a younger age i would say high school was just more of like um it was like a playground and i think because i was closeted and very quiet i did have friends in school but outside of school where it's like oh let's go to the mall let's go to a pachanga yeah. i was never like that but i think that's what helped me like be myself and like be my own personality and kind of just like be okay with being by myself. Yeah. But then obviously I met friends once I graduated and 
whatnot in college my biggest advice in high school is do the things you wouldn't do because when you do them you'll have memories like i regret not going to prom yeah, sometimes no went to homecoming or prom either or homecoming um. and like don't focus too much on your grades because like Honestly, I had like a 3.0 GPA and I still got a scholarship and I graduated college. I heard your Navy. What's your opinion on the Army? He loves talking about this. Just like high school, you know, each branch talks shit about each other. Truthfully, like realistically, I have no opinion though. It is long distance hard? I personally go first. Me. Shut up. It's so hard. I just, I can't do this. No, like you said, at first it was hard. But then we like warmed up to each other, I feel like. Not only that, I feel like as our connection grows, like, it's easier. Yeah. For me, anyways, because I know what I want and what I want is him. Oh. And as long as he tries, I will always try. Advice time. I've been changing slash upgrading myself for this man to want me, but now I look so good that his friends want me. What should I do? Don't ever change yourself for someone else. If <laughs> yeah. they don't like you how don't you are now, yeah. then be the one. The only time you should change yourself is for yourself. Yeah, yeah, never change for other people. But what you should do, friend, is focus on self-love instead of other people trying to like you. Okay? Period. Yeah. Would Danny ever top Lorenzo? Or no. is that 100% off the table? That's 100% off the table. Um, Me, Percy, I wouldn't because, I, like I've said, I've never felt the need to top anybody. It's not in me to top. Have it's you ever tried problem. bottoming? Yes. But we're not talking about that. Okay. What is y'all's love language? P.S. Love y'all both. Thank you, friend. My love language to me is bullying him. I'm just kidding. It is. <laughs> no. He's not kidding. No, it's, I'm just kidding. Okay, what's your love language? Me, I love cooking for other people. It's just in oh, here to like, give love and like care for other people. I think that's what it is. Yeah. How did you guys meet? Also, what did you guys do to make long distance work? Cool. Well, we already explained in the video how you met, but to make long distance work, try to communicate the best you can. Yeah. Sometimes we fail at that. We're not the best at it, but eventually it does come out. Yeah. But bueno, bueno. we have gotten better at it. Um, also, trust. If there's no trust in between the two of you, yeah. then there's no relationship, realistically, long distance or not. I had asked him for like a break, but in me, I didn't know what the fuck I wanted. But I was straight up honest with him, and I told him, like, hey, I'm having these thoughts. Like, it's not fair to you, and it's not fair if I just kept lying to myself. So I said, let me take a break. Again, this is a certain stuff that we won't talk about. We would have reunited in person like Two weeks three ago. weeks later, but I couldn't even do a week, bitch. I was like, uh. There was that miscommunication on my part to him and him to me, to be honest. Are you guys gonna do a couple's costume for Halloween? We yes. still haven't figured that out though. I know, we haven't figured it out, but yes, we were thinking Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Your boyfriend looks like a verse top, but I thought Danny was only a bottom. Has Danny entered his verse era? Yes. No. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> There's a stereotype or a stigma for tops. Just because I act a certain way sometimes or I can be a little sassy doesn't mean I'm not a top. She's a sassy girl, but she's a top. When's the wedding? Next question. How long should I wait to stop eating before douching? So if you actually go to my TikTok channel at DannyBoyCTR, I'll click the playlist Bottoming 101. It'll take you step by step. But honestly, friend, sup, avoid eating sup. like five hours, six hours before bottoming because usually the time it takes to digest food, there's like a certain time frame. But everybody's bodies are different. So honestly, I would say just avoid eating maybe three to five hours before bottoming. Clearly nothing's happening tonight. Does your man speak <clears throat> Spanish? No habla espanol. Pero quiero aprender. Period. That's kind of good bit. He knows some Spanish, yes. I know some Spanish. I just don't know how to put it together. And then also like when people speak it to me, it has to be really slow for me to kind of understand it because I ain't gonna lie, some of y'all be talking fast, especially the ones that like are from Mexico, Mexico, and they be like, I'm like, shit. Girl, your man's made you a whole olla de birria. Marry that man now. <laughs> How about no? That was really cute of you, babe. Thanks for doing that. <laughs> That's where you say you're welcome. Oh, I thought you were talking to the person who left the comment. Is so much for active listener. Girl, who's the job search? Bitch! I think you meant to say, how's the job search? It's going terrible. Nobody wants to employ me. It seems like the universe is against me right now. And to be real with you, the content I've been posting with this man, I feel like I could make a living off of that if I posted every single time. Babe, your, your revenue. Delete, that, delete those videos. That's not good enough. 
Baby, that is revenue. Have you considered finding an internship instead of a full job right now? A lot of companies will let you intern with them six to 12 months after you graduate. What companies? Because we've been looking everywhere. Yeah, most of them require some sort of experience. It's kind of tough. No, the internships, they yeah, require you why. to be in college. Sis, I've watched all your bottoming videos, but I'm so scared to bottom. You know, I think it's a, it's a universal experience for anybody who's first, like, new to the gay dating and, like, hookups and all that kind of stuff. My biggest tip to you is don't do hookups. If you're gonna do hookups, make sure you know the person. I've always said that Grindr, Tinder, Bumble, any of those fucking dating apps, it's your, there's some sort of risk, whether it's a disease, whether it's getting hurt, other stuff. You'll know if it's for you the moment you try it. I don't know, like yeah. I always say, just push out, avoid eating, and you'll be good, sis. Can you make workout videos? I need the motivation. I know this is corny, but discipline over motivation. I do have some workout videos posted on my TikTok under the workout playlist, but it's not easy. I can promise you right now, I haven't been working out for like the past six months, and my body feels it, my mind feels it, I feel like shit. You still look good. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, How did you know that your boyfriend actually wanted to be with you and not just for your clout or just to smash? Love ya. Back when he found me, I was barely blowing up on social media. And even then, I feel like I don't have clout. Like, it's never about the clout. He's very much not a social media person at all. Also, I knew he didn't just want to smash. Actually, that's a lie. I thought he just wanted to smash at first, but after that, he's funded every flight. How about that? Why would he just find out to smash? When is he giving you his babies? What the? <laughs> <laughs> How can I find a man, a man's like yours, love? I wasn't looking for a boyfriend or any type of love in the moment. He like came around like out of nowhere, like literally out of nowhere. Just wait for the universe to send you a sign. Cause and I'm not perfect, trust me. Oh, well, I know. <laughs> I know. He no. says I know. We've only had two bad instances. Okay, stop. We're not talking okay. about that. <laughs> During the era when you came along, I was being a questionable person. Like, I was not someone to fuck with. But that's also one of the reasons why I say, like, if I really did not care for you, I think I would have, like, dropped it already. Like, genuinely. Because the bitch was going through the deals like, like it was a fucking race, bitch. Next! Is it hard to stay in a relationship knowing that y'all are living in different states and any tips on coming out? It's not hard, right? It's not hard. Or, I have to answer it. It's not hard anymore. Yeah. In the beginning, like I said, it's like hard because you're like, does this person really like me, you know? But now to me, it's just like, it's normal. It's like normal. We FaceTime every single night. Sometimes on weekends when I go out, I won't FaceTime just because, or like FaceTime before I leave to the club. Like we'll FaceTime like after the, the club. club. Sometimes, Sometimes mid club. the club. And tips on coming out. I've always said this and I know a lot of you guys are high schoolers, sometimes even middle schoolers. I say that if you come, if you come from like a Mexican household sometimes where you know like family and friends or like people around you might be very homophobic. That's one of the reasons why I waited till I was in college to tell my mom and it came out of me to just say it because I was so frustrated with not being able to be myself. It comes down to being kicked out of the house, being sent away. I know it sounds crazy, but that, uh, that was my mentality. It, it's easy to say like, just be yourself and like, just come out. Like for me, I kind of knew my mom was going to be okay with it, but I still, I still didn't come out until I was like, what, 21, 22. But even if you're worried about your parents, come out to your friends. You don't owe anybody an explanation. Opinions on Sammy. Love you, Sammy. Like, what was the reason you broke up based off what you said he cheated? Be specific. So Lorenzo sure cheated. Be. We're done. No, we're done. Ow. Okay, so Lorenzo did not cheat. I'm just going to say my honest truth because I was questioning my love for him. That's why I told him straight up exactly that but i came to terms with myself that i was the one who had the issues there was miscommunication i didn't communicate certain things to him because i asked for that space within those four days i was like wait no like i don't want to lose you i don't want to this is so corny but like i just didn't want to like not make coffee with him and like wow. not the sephora with him like all this kind of stuff just came to mind like the little things that we did and that's how i knew like damn like let me not be stupid and walk away and then i reached back out to him and Yep. I don't know. I just couldn't picture myself without him. So I was like, ah, uh, no, thank you. What was the biggest issue you had no, in your guys' relationship? By the way, love your videos. Keep it up. Thank you, friend. I think the biggest issue we've had in our relationship so far has been miscommunication. Other than that little oh. break, we haven't really had any yeah. like, big, big issues. Thanks for sharing the voter registration link. Hell important and cool of you to share. Thank you for that, friend. I know that's not a question, but I've always said that if whatever you believe in and you stand for you should always preach it and then there's certain influencers who won't ever talk about that stuff i was like uh i think i have a platform so let me just like put a video and it honestly did pretty good so i was like 
If that helped some people register, then I hope it did help. How do you guys keep the relationship strong even if y'all are long distance? Love you guys. Thank you guys for the love. Communication. It's kind of like a repetitive question already, but FaceTiming every night. Showing my appreciation for him and yep. love for him. Even in the smallest ways. The flowers for graduation, the flowers for Valentine's Day. If I can't be there for some Flowers time, for gonna, Christmas. It's gonna feel my love for somehow. Fem tops are hot. Sis, is that you? <laughs> Hell no, I'm not a fem. Uh, that was a good one. Danny, how's my suegra? <gasps> Who put that? Baby. I didn't, I write that. That's my other hoe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> my aunt at the family party she was like oh you only told me about the other one and i was like what other one but she was kidding like there's no other one i promise there's been no guy that's met my family aside from you actually how has it been almost one year since the casey show of the oh, Rams tour stupid. i miss that tour so much you know what friend i think that was one of the best concerts the best night of my life the sad part is i don't remember most of the concert wow i mean did you buy Sir Davis? I'm not a whiskey drinker. Mm -hmm. Only because it is Beyonce, I do want to try it. Have you taught Lorenzo Beyonce. how to- Douche! <laughs> OMG. Says I can be a flower girl at your wedding, question mark. Honey, you can be the wedding, you can be the wedding official, or no. Does your man call you Danny boy? No. <laughs> Only in bed. Cut or uncut? We're both cut. Hi, twin. What's one thing you both do that pisses each other off? Hi, Danny. Hi, yeah. I'm like, I got a list. What? Your face, your eyes, your nose, your neck, your hair, your lashes. <laughs> to be real, and I'm gonna be so real. I think because Lorenzo is a people pleaser, sometimes it rubs off to me where it's like, baby, just shut up. Like, today, my little brother asking to go to get bored when you're like, just go, just go, like, First of all, if I said no, it's no. It means no. Okay, what well, what is one thing no, I mean? No. He has short patience. Not all the time, just sometimes. Like earlier in the car when I said huh and you said Maybe <laughs> 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 yeah, it's cause sometimes you piss me off. Every time I talk and he'll be like, huh? What? Huh? And he knows uh, he heard what? me and then what? I'm like <gasps> What? And I think because I was hangry and like sweaty and like just a little bit like stressed with myself but the way he's talking right now is not how he talks in, sometimes in the car sometimes he'd be like like bitch how much oh, was i here you're right babe that's something i'm trying to work on you're right i mean no i'm being for real <laughs> i'm being so sorry oh, but i'm God. also really loud so no. it's because i have a tiny petite little boy i have a boyfriend that i haven't met yet but we've known each other for a while online and have facetimed a lot lately how do you make long distance work? He's only like four hours away, but I want a cutesy relationship things with him that we can't do with the distance. You still do cutesy things with long distance, honestly, if there's the will and the effort, like buying him flowers, one or dashing thing, him food. Yeah, one thing he did actually was he bought a gaming setup and he knows I like to play video games, obviously with the occasion where I'm bored and we will play video games. There's a thing called Discord. Sometimes we will watch movies on there, yeah. play Fortnite. Trying to favor Fortnite. somebody else's like, interest, I guess. Because yeah, he's not, not a, gamer. a gamer. I think if you both put in the effort for that, that's how it's gonna yeah. be. You're only four hours away, to be honest. If I was four hours away from this man, I'd be there like every day. Is it a turn on for you that he's in the military? Uh, absolutely not. No, thank you, no. No, when I put that uniform on, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's not a turn, babe, get your hand out of there. How long have y'all been together? So officially, we've been since February. Yeah, so seven months officially, and like nine months unofficially. I count the unofficial because I wasn't fucking with anybody else. And I was loyal right off the bat. You know damn well. I you know damn well. You can go through my phone. Babe. <laughs> Get up, I need to close the video. Thank you guys all for the questions. That was the last one. I wish this man really lived with me here in Nebraska, but unfortunately he has another year and a half to provide service for the country. If you guys wanna keep being chismosas and like interested in the relationship and shit, go to TikTok, go to Snapchat, go to Twitter, coming soon. We take a guy out together. That's cute.
Damn. There was question in answer with my boyfriend by Danny Flo Flores. The link to the video will be the description below. Go and check them out and drop a like if you like. And comment down below if you want to see more reactions like this one. And subscribe if you are new. And click the bell so you can be notified when I upload. Bye. <laughs>